there. Welcome to my channel. My name is Missy and I hope you're having a great day today. I have a Dollarama haul for you, so let's get to and I'll show you what I bought. Nothing is in order. It never is with me. It's just how I pull it out of the bag. Now this first thing that I bought, I saw on my Facebook groups and people did not like it. They said it was not worth the money. It wasn't, didn't taste like shortbread. And of course my curiosity got the best of me and I had to go and find it and try it. So these are by Bisqui and they're shortbread fingers. And um, they're only $1.25 and I saw them as I was leaving, um, like going through the cash. And I mean, for $1.25, I knew right away they're not gonna taste like the shortbread that you make at home or the higher end shortbread that you would um, buy at a grocery store. But there's nothing wrong with them as long as you kind of have that mindset going in that they're only $1.25 and they're not gonna taste like, you know, grandma's shortbread, you'll be fine. I think they're quite nice. I like them and uh, I have already tried them. Curiosity got the best of me, but for $1.25, I thought they were just fine. I thought they taste fine. So the next thing that I'm gonna show you, in another haul, um, I have um, a Kleenex box that's plaid. And then I bought this one here, and it's the hand towel Kleenex, and we wanna buy those before they're gone. But um, this is the Christmas box, or one of the decorated Christmas boxes they have there at Dollarama. And I really liked the blue and the white and the green. I thought this was really pretty. And um, these are $4, and this is something I use every night with my skincare routine, and I just wanted to have a couple of boxes, but I'll probably go back and pick a few more up, because, um, you know, we're not going to get Kleenex for much longer, and um, these are so, so nice when I'm doing my skincare routine, and I keep them on the shelf in my bathroom with um, all my cleansers and creams and things like that. But I just love the box. I thought the box was really, really pretty. So the next thing I bought is just some pepper, uh, $2 each. Um, it's by Heavenly Spices. And um, I bought this for that little pepper container I bought at Dollarama a couple hauls ago. $2 each, I bought two of those. So the next thing I got, these are so darn cute and these are down the Christmas aisle, down the seasonal aisle and they had tons of different ones but these ones really caught my eye. $1.75 and they're just the gingerbread socks. So, so cute. Try to bring that up a little closer for you. Adorable and um, I had to have them. And I'll probably go back and get a few more for $1.75. They're just really nice socks and they're just so Christmassy and um, I love gingerbread. So I bought those. The next thing I bought is a repurchase. Um, my daughter asked me if I had a lighter so she could light the candle in her room so I gave her the one I bought at Dollarama a while back so I bought myself a new one and uh, this is just the multi-purpose and this was um, how much was this $4.50 and I got the white one this time because I really like the white one I didn't see this one last time I was there they were all green and uh, blue and red but I saw the white and I picked that up this time and this will last me a long time but I told her to keep that one. And uh, we are candle lovers in this house. So the next thing I picked up was a set of brushes. And I got one each for the girls for Christmas. And I also got myself one. And these were, I think they were either $2.50 or $3. But it's the five-piece eye uh, brush set. And uh, these are really, really nice brushes. And it's Ruby and Millie of New York. And um, Dollarama is getting so many nice brushes in, and they're perfect for Christmas gifts. If you know anyone that loves to wear makeup, um, which is all three of us in this house, but um, yeah, it's a really nice five-piece eye set, and uh, two fifty or three dollars down the beauty aisle. The next thing I picked up are one of my favorite chocolates. I always look for these. I know you can buy them in the bag, but I really like this box every year at Christmas time. And it's the Icy Squares. I love the box. I get excited when I see it. And I love Icy Squares. And uh, these are for me, and I will probably put them in the fridge. I like them cold. I like them in the fridge, so I'll probably put these in the fridge and maybe have one after dinner each night. 
I just love them. I really, really do. And I love this packaging. I think it's so, so cute. So cute. And that, again, would make a perfect Christmas gift for someone. If you're making a basket up or putting something in a stocking, this will fit very nicely in a stocking. So the next thing that I got are some more of the um, nail art um, containers. So this one was $1.25, and um, this is what it looks like. And uh, just really cute. And um, I'm really into doing stickers and nail art. The only thing is um, I would probably put a nail glue on the back of these before I put them on. And then my top coat because um, I did some the other day that were, um, what were they? They were stars or butterflies, butterflies. And I noticed that even putting it on when my, my nail polish was wet and then putting the top coat over, the butterfly still fell off. And I have a very good top coat. So I think next time I will just put a little bit of glue on the back and um, glue it onto my nail before I put the top coat on. But they're so cute. So, so cute. So the next thing that I got... Now I've been watching Andrea from the Happy Hand Panner and it's all her fault that I went and bought these um, window clings. And um, it is your fault, Andrea. <laughs> I went just to get the one that she got, and I ended up just almost buying all of them. They got so many nice window clings there. But I got these ones. I think these are the ones that Andrea got. And they were $1.50. Now, I'm not putting my Christmas tree up because of Harley this year. Harley is my parrot, and he will not leave it alone. He just attacks it. I've tried everything, and um, I will decorate my room and the rest of the house, just not where the birds are. And uh, so I'm going to put these in the window so it still feels like, you know, the Christmas season. And um, I already have stickers of birds on the window, so he won't bother these, hopefully. But these are the snowflakes. And they're a beautiful uh, silver color. And uh, just really, really pretty. And um, we had so much fun going through all of these window clings. Um, if you like something like this, they just have tons of them, tons of them. And then I picked up this one here, which I thought was really, really pretty. And um, we also have like French doors going downstairs. And um, I'm going to put window clings on every single window there. And then I picked up these. These are super pretty. They're gorgeous. I love the blue. They're just really dainty looking, and um, I just had to have those. And they were $2.25, $2.25 for those. Really, really nice. And then, I don't know, we went crazy. And then I picked up, these are all $1.25, so there's one of them. And it's just Santa. And, uh, you know, some little houses. A little scene we got that one and then this one here and uh, it's just got a fireplace Santa some penguins super super cute super cute all a dollar 25 and then I got this one here that has some little cookies and some snowmen again just super cute Adorable, adorable. Every window is going to be clinged in this house. And then this one here, another really cute one with the houses. More penguins, and I love penguins. Super cute. And then this one here. A little sleigh. Adorable, adorable. This one probably is my favorite one. This one is gorgeous with the cardinals. Very rarely do we see a cardinal on this island. Um, I have not yet seen one, but there are sightings of some cardinals on the island. But I thought this was just adorable. And I will be putting that exactly where the birds sit at their window. Adorable. $1.25 for all of those. So, 
the next thing. I was so excited to find this and I'm going to color this and I'm going to try to have it ready for Christmas and I'll try to do my, I'll maybe do short, a uh, short video on my progress on doing this. But this was $2.25 and I had not seen this at my Dollarama before and you can paint it or color it and it's 36 by 48 and it is a tablecloth, a paper tablecloth and um, I thought this was really something. Let me put my glasses on here, make sure you guys can see it. Yeah, this is really, really cute. It looks like a lot of fun. And uh, I'm just going to sit here and watch YouTube videos at night and um, color it. And we'll see if I get it done by Christmas, hopefully. But I think it's just adorable. You could also uh, put this up on a wall or something like that. This would be great for the kids to do, and I am a big kid. But yeah, great for the kids to do on Christmas Day or Christmas Eve. Just a really nice activity for $2.25. Never saw it before at my Dollarama. So the last thing in my bag is so, so cute. So they have a lot of really nice dog toys um, down the seasonal aisle towards the end at my Dollarama. And um, I bought this for my bed or a decoration in my room. I absolutely love this for me. You all know I love my stuffies. This was $5, and it's Hello Winter Cocoa, and it has a little um, squeak in it, but this is adorable. Look at this little cup. Holiday cheers, and then it has, you know, your little um, cream on top and a design. This is adorable. I don't have a dog, but um, I'm going to keep this for myself, but I think it's just going to be so cute on the bed. Adorable. Like I said, uh, they had tons of dog toys at Dollarama for Christmas, and they are in the seasonal aisle. And, uh, yeah, they had another one that was a latte, and I might go back and get it. I just couldn't resist it. Absolutely adorable. Adorable. So, the last thing I'm going to show you, I am going to blame Andrea for, too. <laughs> Sorry, Andrea, but she has been hauling, and I have seen these before at Dollarama, but I didn't know they'd be as nice when you took them out of the package. Um, she had hauled these glass cutting boards, and she got the herb one, and it is absolutely stunning. When she took it out of the package, I was sold. I had to go and see if I could find the herb one. We don't have it here on the island in the three stores anyways that I go to. But I have bought the one that my daughter has been wanting me to buy for a very long time. I keep saying, no, I don't need it. I don't need it. But once I saw Andrea uh, take it out of the package, I was sold. And I also had one of my subscribers. I think it might have been Paula. Um, I might be wrong, but I think it might have been Paula telling me that she looked these up, uh, I think, at Walmart and maybe Amazon. I might be wrong. I'm so sorry. But... Um, Anyways, she said they're like $30 at Walmart. They're, you know, more than that on Amazon. And I looked this particular one up at um, on Amazon, and it said it was $56. So, <laughs> I bought a cutting board. $4.75, and I bought this one, and I bought this one, not because my daughter wanted me to buy it, because this is the only thing, uh, baking-wise, that I can't make. I If you send me a recipe, I can probably make it. Um, but I have tried to make these over and over again, and um, I think I might now have a recipe that might work for me. But anyways, it's the Macaron Glass Cutting Board. Isn't that pretty? It is gorgeous. And I always liked it when I saw it at Dollarama, and um, I know why my daughter was telling me to get it. But when I saw Andrea pull it out of the box is when I went, okay, that is really, really nice. So let's pull this out. And they had one there, they had another one there too, but I didn't really like it as much. But this one here, I was sold, I was sold, and uh, it is gorgeous. It is gorgeous, absolutely lovely. And it has the little feet on the bottom here. And uh, we do a lot of cooking in this house, but I will probably keep this for baking because, um, you know, just remind, well it is, it's cookies, so it reminds me of baking, but I will nail this recipe. I will. Like I said, I finally got a recipe that I'm pretty sure is going to work for me this time, and um, I am going to try it soon. 
and uh, hopefully I can nail it. <laughs> but uh, I love this cutting board. It's absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much, Andrea, from the Happy Hand Panner for showing your glass cutting boards. And um, it is your fault. I had <laughs> I went out and bought it. <laughs> and she will get a laugh out of that. I know she will. Andrea is a lovely girl. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please subscribe and hit that like button, and hit the notification bell so you know when I'm uploading again, and thank you so much for spending time with me today, and uh, until next time, bye for now.